In natural language processing, a discourse parser can analyze an article, such as the text shown here, and represent its organization based on a rhetorical structure tree, called a discourse tree. In this video, we present DA Viewer, an interactive visualization tool for linguistics researchers to visually explore, compare, and annotate discourse structures, allowing them to verify hypotheses, discover insights, and obtain intuitions for new algorithms. The interface of DA Viewer is composed of the following components. An overview of the entire dataset, a detail view showing selected discourse trees, an information panel, an article view showing the associated text, an annotation panel, and a search widget for querying functions. Here, a dataset of 90 discourse trees has been loaded, consisting of five parsers, shown as columns, each of which was run over 18 Wall Street Journal articles, shown as rows. The first column is the gold standard, discourse trees labeled manually by linguists. We denote the remaining columns as parsers A to D. In the overview, overall similarity scores have been computed between the gold standard and the results of parser A to D for each article. These scores are shown in numbers with a yellow to green color scale in the background. Here, yellow represents more similar to the gold standard. When the user selects a tree, it is highlighted with a red outline, and additional details about the tree are shown in the information panel, such as the distributions of the rhetorical relations. Here, the user wants to compare the performance of parser A with the gold standard. Thus, she samples some discourse trees in the first two columns with high, medium, and low similarity scores, and brings them into the detail view. The discourse tree is presented in a node link view with the tree nodes color-coded by the represented relation and link style indicating the nucleus and satellite property. A heat map-like background represents the similarity score distribution of the whole tree. The user first minimizes the tree visualizations by double-clicking the header in order to get a general idea about the overall structures along the vertical and horizontal perspectives. The histogram-like representations of a tree encode some of the structural information and the similarity scores distributed along the two axes. She finds an interesting problem. Parser A produced a structure similar to the gold standard on this part of the article, but the colors indicate the errors are high. She then maximizes the visualization for further exploration. As the mouse moves across the tree view, a brown ribbon indicates the tree level under the pointer. From the heat map background, the user identifies where the error first occurs. Then she hovers over that tree node and a tooltip is displayed with some basic information. She finds that the nodes are merged incorrectly by parser A because these two branches are merged here in the gold standard. Selecting the node highlights the corresponding branches of the reference tree and updates the bottom panel, showing the tree node information and the distribution of relations within that branch. The text associated with a selected node is highlighted with different fonts and hues for indicating branches, nuclearities, and relations. The layout is changed according to the tree level selected. The user can also switch to the continuous mode or to the separated mode. She finds that the incorrectly merged nodes are in a cause relation and are associated with the keyword result. Then the user wonders if there are similar errors regarding the cause relationship somewhere else. Thus, she activates the search widget and conducts a keyword search for the word result. The matched tree nodes are highlighted in a blue background. She then explores the search results and finds another node with a mislabeled relation. To better understand this issue, the user adds more discourse trees to the detail view and conducts a structure query by building a template tree on the search widget more errors are identified. Next, the user wants to compare the performance of different parsers. Thus, she adds columns of the other parsers and sets parser A as the reference. With parser A as the reference, the similarity scores are computed between parser A and the other parsers B, C, and D. The analyst can change to the icicle plot view to explore the discourse structures from another perspective. All the tree interactions introduced previously are also available in this view. To roughly compare the relations generated by the parsers, the user filters out the elaboration and same unit relations since she is not interested in them. 
This filter reveals that parser C rarely identifies other types of relations. The analyst can also look for differences by using the similarity score slider to fade out tree nodes whose scores are above a threshold. Again, she finds most parts of the discourse trees in parser C remain, indicating that they are highly different from those produced by the reference parser A.